Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today's special video is about Android N. As we all know, it just came out. Uh, well, it came out about a week ago, but I wanted to touch base on it and see what the difference between the Android N is and what the difference between Marshmallow is and see what Google has in store for us and different things they might have thrown in there. So, let's go check it out. Hey everybody, so now that we're into the two devices, I have a Nexus 6 right here and a Nexus 9 for the purposes of this video. On the Nexus 6 is the one with Android N and on the Nexus 9 is the one with Marshmallow on it. So let's look at the first things that we see. Let's turn the screens on. Notifications. See, on the notifications uh, on the lock screen it seems like you get a little bit more See, it seems like you got a little bit more information and more details on the developer preview of Android N compared to Marshmallow right here where you still get a lot of information but it seems like you got a little more. So let's go into the home screens. You know, we all know it's Android N. I know it's going to be a tad bit different with smartphone UI and tablet UI, but honestly, it shouldn't be that much different. So let's go into the app drawer. See the differences? Okay, so the app drawer looks kind of similar. And don't get me wrong, this is for now. Android N is still very much a developer preview. It's not meant for prime time yet. So that might change. The animations kind of seem like they're the same too. Let's go back. Yeah, so the animations for both the app drawers seem to be the same as well. Okay, so let's pull down the notification shade. As we all know, that's the notification pull down from Marshmallow. Now let's look at the one from Android M. See, it changed a little bit. They kind of copied Samsung's queue right here, put some quick toggles up top. And then you have a little bit more of a detailed and better looking, if you ask me, uh, a notification draw. So, that's really neat. So now let's pull down again another time on here. So you get the, all the quick toggles over here uh, with marshmallows. You do that over here for Android N. Now you get all the quick toggles come down. That that's really cool. So let's go back and do that again. So got the toggles up here, pull it down. That's a really cool animation. And over here the difference too is if you slide this way on Android N, you get access to more toggles. That's really cool. Can't do that on Marshmallow. Go into the settings. So the settings has changed a little bit too. Uh, they give you suggestions based on frequency and how many times you do things, which is pretty cool. And then they break up the categories a little differently. Like, you got your wireless networks over here, and then they give you more. But also, in the settings too, is if you slide from the side, you get like another type of hamburger menu type thing where it gives you all the traditional categories like before see like over here apps battery they give you all that right here it's a little bit different which i think is a really nice improvement and the list goes down and over here it's kind of like they give you quick information about what's going on like display adaptive brightness is on notifications sound storage battery you know, I invite anybody who has a Nexus device, I mean, if they have an extra Nexus device or a tablet, try it out. Try putting Android N on your phone, and you can always flash it back, because if you learn how to flash that, you can flash it back to Marshmallow if you want. But only if you have a backup device. Don't do this if it's your daily driver and you rely on it for, like, work and stuff. So, yeah. 
So that's changed a little bit. And then another thing that has changed and the biggest change is, well, let's see about the power menu. So the power menu didn't change at all. Something that did change though is multi-app, so. So let it just pull up this website. So now if you hold down on the recent apps button, it'll give you a choice to the multi-window. So let's say you want to do YouTube. See that guys? Native multi-window support in the Android. It's really cool. But if you press it again, you, and if you keep pressing this button, you can actually toggle through the different apps. Same thing if you go like this. So that's neat. So, I mean, this is only just a developer preview, and there's still probably a lot more different things that they're going to do with it, but for now, uh, those are the major improvements besides background APIs that people who aren't developers don't know about. But basically, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, what I did notice though a lot with this Android end preview, and that's why I'm telling everybody only do this if you have a backup device, the camera app constantly crashes. That is a big bug I knew about, but when you're part of these beta programs, it's good to report these things so Google knows. And that's kind of the agreement you get into when you willingly put this on your device. Do your part. They're giving you the operating system to test out. Give them some feedback. It's the right thing to do. I let them know that the, the camera app crashes constantly. And, you know, maybe the next release will be a little bit better. So, I know this was a short video, guys. But I hope you guys learned a little something from it. And I hope you guys have a great day. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I have a couple more great videos up here if you guys want to check them out. Or if you want to keep up to date with all my greatest and latest videos, hit that subscribe button right down below.